Hey guys, and welcome to another day of Vlogtober. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with apologizing. I'm not sure how the lighting is right now. It's actually pretty late at night. We had a busy day. I got a chance to stop at the Dollar Tree, but I didn't get a chance to film this when I wanted to. So everybody's in bed. It is about to be 11 p.m. And I just set up one of my lights, but I just got tired of messing with it to see if I can get the shadows to go away and if I can get the lighting to be good. So hopefully this is okay for you guys. I've got like every light around me possible on, so hopefully it works okay. But I wanted to share some pretty cool stuff I found at the Dollar Tree with you guys. And yeah, let's get into it. So to start off, the whole reason I went to the Dollar Tree is because I needed to mail something and I needed one of these like large manila type envelopes. So this brings five nine by 12 peel and seal envelopes in it. And I used one to mail what I needed to mail. So I got that for a dollar and I thought that was a pretty good deal for a dollar for five of them. I was expecting to maybe get a two pack for five dollars, so that was pretty cool. In that same aisle where they have kind of like the mailing stuff and then they have kind of teacher stuff, I found these really cool craft and activity mats. And they had red, black, and green. I got two green ones, one for each kid's desk. I saw something similar to this. I think it was a little bit bigger at Office Depot and it was $10 and I wanted to get it but then at the same time I was like well I could just use a placemat or something well I was so glad to find these that are actually made for that they're much thicker than a placemat and my kids use their desks for homework but they also play play-doh and they have like that kinetic sand stuff so um, they paint they color so I think these will be great to just have on their desks for when they're doing those type of activities because with white desks they get pretty stained pretty quickly. The next thing I found I was really super excited about and I had to hide so I had to just go grab it before I had to go grab it before I did this haul but it was this um, Crayola Color of Folio and it's actually an iPad mini case. Now this one's pink and it has like butterflies and ladybugs and peace signs on it and it brings the Crayola fabric markers for them to color. They and for just one dollar, I thought that was an amazing deal. I usually buy my kids iPad cases at Five Below for five bucks, so one dollar is amazing. Um, and it's the Crayola brand. And they also had blue ones with like um, dinosaurs and spaceships and stuff, but they were for the regular sized iPad, so um, that won't work for Junior's iPad, obviously. So I just got this one for Kaylee's, and I'm gonna put it away for Christmas time. The next things I got I actually need for the kids' school. They are doing a storybook character day. They're allowing the kids to dress up as storybook characters and then they'll be able to stop at all, at every, like do like a walk around the school and they can stop at the classrooms and collect candy. So my kids are going to take part in that. They've asked us for parents to bring in two bags of uh, individually wrapped candy. So at the Dollar Tree they have some pretty good candy. So I found these Superman and Villains or Superman Villains candy sticks. And these are peanut free, gluten free, and fat free. Um, not that the fat free really matters, but I thought I liked that it was peanut and gluten free. So I got two bags of that for Junior to take and they bring 22 in each. And then since I got him some character stuff, I found this uh, frozen lollipop and tanky candy mix for Kaylee's to take in. Nice. Little candies that are in snowflake shape and some lollipops and I got two bags of that and they seem kind of small but they each bring 18 in them so I think that should be good. While I was at the Dollar Tree I looked at their fall stuff. I do have my house mostly decorated for fall and I will have a tour up eventually. I want to do it at some point this week so maybe tomorrow. Um, but I, what I don't have is any fall specific napkins. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were pretty. They have like orange flowers and acorns and berries and leaves and stuff like that on them. And I thought they weren't too Halloween-y so I can keep them out for a while. And also they're nice fall colors. So 
I thought those would work. So for these, I'll have to make a pretty quick explanation. For the kids, for their um, progress reports and also for really good behavior and stuff, we have an at-home treasure chest that I will sometimes let them go in if they bring home perfect behavior or definitely when they do good on their progress reports, I let them go in it. And I needed to add some stuff to it. All I have in there right now are some really cool mechanical pencils that they like and like a few girly things I need to definitely get some more boy stuff but it's really hard for me to find like small boy stuff that's not like a Hot Wheels car and Junior has so many of those I think he's probably tired of that always being his thing so I went and um, at the Dollar Tree I actually saw this and this is the ROXO um, Disney Frozen charm bracelet and Kaylee's has one of these that she got for Christmas last year and she has Anna and Elsa on it and this is an Olaf in summer charm so I picked that up for her because those are usually like three dollars if you go to Michael's Party City or anywhere like that and for a dollar that's a pretty good deal and then while I was there I found this Avengers one and I thought Junior might like that one this one has the Hulk and we call him our Hulk so I thought that was cute the only other one I saw at the Dollar Tree um, besides this Hulk one um, they had a few Anna and Elsa's and they had Hello Kitty, but I couldn't find any more boy ones, so I'm hoping I can go to a different Dollar Tree and find the rest of the charms so I can stick those in our treasure chest. I also got some of this Love My Carpet um, odor fighting powder for the rugs. I like to sprinkle this on the rugs and then vacuum it up because it smells really good and I've been out of it for like maybe two weeks, so... I definitely wanted to get some of this. I don't know that it fights odors. I just like the way it smells immediately after I vacuum, so that's why I get that. The next thing I got is actually for the volunteer program I run at the kids' school. So I, I'm going to do a separate video about this, but basically at the kids' school we have the PTO and then we have a volunteer program, which is um, specifically for volunteers to come in and help out the teachers during the day with different tasks and I am the president of that group so um, we've been trying to get we've been trying to get things organized so it's easier for the teachers to hand in stuff for us to do and be able to get it back to them on time so I came up with the idea of having like mailboxes where the teachers would fill out their usual form where they tell us what they need done but they'd put actually the thing the work that needs to be done inside of inbox for the date that it's due so I tried to see if I could recycle maybe some paper boxes or something from the school, but they actually had gotten rid of all of them, and I really want to implement this starting tomorrow because I'll be in there tomorrow doing kind of some administrative work for the group. So I just went ahead and spent $5 out of pocket. It's not going to kill me, and got these really great big bins, and they're like, they're shallow, but they're like bigger than a paper size. And I know that Dollar Tree had paper size ones. That's why I checked but um, these are a little bigger, but I think they'll be great, especially for like the bigger pieces of paper. A lot of times kindergarten teachers have like the longer pieces of paper. I think they might fit perfectly in here. So I got five of those, one for each day of the week, and I'm gonna make some labels for them and set them up in our workroom and see how this works out. And if it doesn't work, I can always just bring them home. And at the end of the year, I probably will bring them home and hold them for next year or use them around my house or whatever needs to be. So I'm, I'm not worried about losing out on that money and really $5 isn't that big of a deal to me. This next thing I got, I was really super excited about. It's actually a car visor tissue kit. And it looks like that. And I had never seen this before and I thought it was pretty cool. So it looks like it looks like this and it just has the clips in the back so you can clip it to your visor and then you can stick it brings this little tissue pack in it but you can just stick regular sized tissues in it and I've got a bunch of these and it just velcros shut. And I thought that was cool. We always have a tissue box in the car because the kids need tissues or I need tissues or anything like that. And usually it ends up on the floor by the passenger side and it stinks when they ask for a tissue and I'm driving and I can't reach it. And I don't like leaving them in the back because I tried that one time and then we just have crumbled up tissues everywhere because when one of them, I'm not sure which one would get bored, they just crumble up tissues. So I thought this was, and I'm sorry that I'm speaking so fast and so long-winded. I'm really trying to get this video done. But um, so I thought this would be a great thing to have in the car and for a dollar. I would never expect to see something like this for a dollar. The next thing I got is again for that treasure chest, and this is a boy thing I found. It's a grow and glow dinosaur 
So it's just one of those little dinosaurs that you stick in a cup of water and you wait like 72 hours and it grows. And this one glows in the dark. So um, Junior is really, he really likes dinosaurs so I thought he would like this. So I only found one and I picked this one up to stick in the treasure chest. And then last but not least, I got myself a new colander. And it's this green color. It doesn't necessarily match my kitchen. I don't think it'll be too out of place, but the only other color they had was orange and that definitely wasn't gonna work. Just like the color orange it was wouldn't work for my kitchen. So um, I've been looking for a colander that has a handle like this so I can hang it where I hang my pots and pans in the kitchen. And the one I have right now, I always have to sit on top of the shelf and it's too high to reach and I just don't like it up there. So I was super happy to find one with a handle and I'm not too mad at the color. I think it'll be fine, just fine. It's a colander. And for a dollar, another thing you can't beat. All right guys, so that is everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. I think I found some pretty cool things, some pretty interesting things. I'll be honest, I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in over a month. It's been way too long. So I don't know if this stuff is old news or what's going on. That is everything I got from the Dollar Tree. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.